This is a, a continuation from the video I did uh, just yesterday, as a matter of fact. Um, I'll actually put it up Wednesday. I'm not sure when this one was going up, but uh, this was the same day that we visited Jumpin' Jack's Pro Speed. Had a chance to go in there and watch Jack Johnson, you know, do what he does and meet his fans. And it was a lot of fun. And if you're wondering what he was signing, that was one of the things he was signing right there. The old Dirt Tracking Magazine. With, uh, I mean, look at those chops, you know, I love that right there. 151 photos we took on this day. That's Mark Kozlowski's number three right there. So obviously we're not going to be able to show them all to you. Uh, so we selected some of them uh, to do. And if you're interested in some of these pictures, as always, just get a hold of us. Leave us a message here. Uh, find me on Facebook or uh, Elkins Video Productions Mail at Gmail. Dot com. Jake Spraker, Bobby Varon right there. Matty D, Matt DiLorenzo who uh, has had a bit of a renaissance here recently. Here's Kenny Gates. We just saw him a little while ago. Uh, if you look for him, I think it was Super Dirt Week when we ran into Kenny Gates, Tony Pepicelli's car. I'll a look at the Jake Spraker car right there. And again, I'm, I'm moving along somewhat quickly because I want to make sure I get all these uh, in there for you as it was a, a pretty busy day out there at the mall. Love the pro stocks of this particular time frame. Good looking cars. There's our driver right there. If you know his name, make sure to share it in the comment section. And remember, subscribe, turn on the notifications, hit the like button. We love the comments. Josh Hohenforce car right there. Some other folks hanging out down there. I know I met this driver. He's a modified. Back when, here's one thing, back when they had game places where you could go and actually buy video games. <laughs> Can't do that anymore. Well, a little bit you can with some of the PlayStation stuff, but that's really uh, about it. But a great time, as always. This has always been one of my favorite uh, events to uh, check out here. The Williams team, how we doing, guys? Always ready to have fun and go out there and have a good time at the racetrack. This one I liked right here. Um, leave it to the Jocelyns to come up with something interesting. Um, Cadillac, stock car, look at that. I'm sure that thing won't be light on the scales. That's for sure. But what a cool looking car. Nice young man here in his stock car right here. Nice little Monte Carlo right there. And of course, there's a lot of those at this particular show. And of course, we always love the 70s Camaro. Always a great looking car. Had that nice wide back window. Get the air going through there and everything. Kind of like the Novas. They were just made for this kind of stuff. So, but... You can see, beautiful cars, love these mall shows. They do a lot for the racing community because we are in front of people who do not normally race. I know I know this guy's name too. I can't think of it. I'm so sorry. It's been so long. Uh, like we said, this was all the way back in 2008, so 16 years ago. Jamie Russell right here. I like that shot shooting across the, the waterfall. Or excuse me, the fountains in the inside there. Look inside the race car here. This, I believe, this is a three-speed. I'm not really sure how that works. One is reverse and first. The other is second and third. There's neutral in between. Um, never quite understood those, but uh, I'll get somebody to give me a, um, a little breakdown on it. I like what they have on the dash on this one. You lift, you lose. Of course, you got to lift a little bit here and there. So look inside a go-kart. And today's go-karts, I mean, they're nothing like what they were 40 years ago. I'll tell you that. Things are wicked fast. And, uh, boy, you can really get going in one of those things. Here's Jack Johnson. This this gentleman in the in the wheelchair there, he was a longtime fan of Jack Johnson. You used to see him all over the place at events, and Jack would always take time uh, to spend some time with him and because uh, that's just the kind of guy uh, he was. So another gentleman with his race car right there. And the famous, the famous Dave Lape, number 22. Kenny Martin, longtime campaigner at Fonda, and of course, always always a threat at Syracuse. There's his son, and then we got one a junior here too by himself. So hope you guys are doing well. I haven't seen you guys in in forever, so I hope that you're uh, you're doing well out there. Howard Smith, he was the rookie of the year at IMCA Modifieds out at Fonda. And that's something, you know it. And here's the family. This looks like Danny Odie, but it can't be, right? 
because Danny never drove a Sprint, or did I just happen to get him standing in front of a Sprint car? I don't know. If you know for sure, let me know, because I'm serious. I As soon as I saw this, I was like, Danny never drove a Sprint, did he? I'm like 95% sure he didn't, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. Andrew Buff right here, if the name sounds familiar, he was the Dirt Car Sportsman Champion on the tour this past year. He started in IMCA Modifieds, and that was his car at the show. Ricky Quick, talk about a, a great racing name, right? I mean, who doesn't want that, right? Because <laughs> he was over, I think this is over by 99s in that area over there. Tony Ferrone, I still got a, an interview I did with Tony on the reality of concessions and trying to make sure you have enough food and not too much and, and how to run those for events. I'll make sure I sneak that one on here in the next little bit. So, And, of course, we gave him a hard time because he played a lot of cards. And that was his full house. Ace is over. That'll win a lot of hands, won't it? <laughs> of course, we know this guy, Derek. I don't know how to say your last name. Is it Covey or Covey? I think it's Covey, but I don't know. I did send this one uh, to him, but this guy taking a lot of pictures. Images by DC. I'm sure if you look him up, you'll find a lot of stuff out there. But this guy took uh, pictures for a long, long time. I'm sure he has an amazing... Uh, archive uh, of all this stuff throughout the year. Of course, best appearing car and crew from Dirt Week, Ronnie Johnson. And of course, there you go, Gator, huh? Probably haven't thought about that in a while, have you? And there's his car, always looking sharp. Ronnie's still racing today. And there's Jack, right there in the center. So, And our last photo is Jamie Russell, nice young man. Um... I haven't talked to him in a little while either. I don't know. Are you still racing, Jamie? If you guys, you know, and if you guys see these and you know the people that are in the pictures, let them know. Let them know that I'm interested in talking to them and uh, have them reach out to me. Um, Elkins Video Productions Mail at gmail.com. It's the Doug's Dirt Diary at uh, com. They had a problem with that, so I can't, I'm not using that email anymore. It won't work, but. Um, uh, but I do have this other one. And of course, you can message me on Facebook. Make sure to turn on the notifications, the likes, all that cool stuff. And uh, we'll be back with another one. We got another um, one coming up here in just a little bit as well. So good luck with everything, everybody. Have yourself a great weekend. And it won't be long. We'll be at the track. And instead of remembering all these great moments from the past, we'll be creating new moments here very soon. So I look forward to seeing you guys. And you guys all take care of yourself. Keep working hard in the shop, okay, because that's what's going to get you wins. And we'll see you at the track very soon.